What about a wide leg pair of pants? <sighs> what about a wide leg pair of pants? Hi sis, welcome to Fabric Mothers. How are you doing? Long time no here. I feel like I've been doing a lot of lookbooks and I haven't really spoken and chatted with you sis. So um, I'm actually really excited to bring you this video and uh, let me just introduce myself to our new visitors and let them know what we're all about here. So this is Fab Chic Mothers. Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by to this video, to my channel, to this platform. My name is Doris and here on Fab Chic Mothers we talk everything fashion, how to look fabulous, look chic, ladylike, feminine on a budget. So if you are all about this or you're just curious to see, hey, what is all this about stay tuned and I really hope that we'll make a connection and you will consider belonging to this family by subscribing and be a part of this growing community so sis I really hope that you have been enjoying my uh, my lookbooks and my videos um, yeah what did I post last time um, yeah my thrift haul styling you know I love styling you know it's one thing I love the thrill of a hunt you know whenever you shopping especially thrifting I love it but it's also another thing to know how to wear those pieces and how to make them versatile and to be able to mix and match with different pieces and come up with different looks you know while being authentic and faithful to your own style aesthetic because we are all different we have all different styles like i can never say that enough <laughs> so thank you so much for coming back if you are a returning watcher and so for today it's a styling video again and I'm so excited because it was a challenge for me I love to challenge myself fashion is so fun and we should have fun with it exploring with fashion experimenting I was thinking you know what I am on that modest journey it'll be so exciting and challenging to make a video on um, styling with layers creating layers because i love creating layers for my different looks that i wear and also to use a mini skirt so stay tuned i know you're going to enjoy it i have three different styles for you and so excited to show you so before i move on with the styling let me show you about the outfit of the day so for today i am wearing this zara dress you should have seen previously I love this dress so much. I just love the earthy tone, colors, and it's long sleeve. It's light, it's airy, and it's just it's just me. I love it. It's actually like a midi dress. And so I wearing on top of it my oversized thrifted blazer um, from Goodwill probably or one of those um, thrift stores that I love to go check out here and there and I really like how the colors are really mixing the orangey brownish earthy tones golden um, yeah so I decided to wear this on top to create that oversized look with strong shoulders bold shoulders and what I'm doing is I rolled up the sleeves so that the long sleeve will pop out you know to add another dimension you know you know it's all about those details and after that what am i wearing yes for, for this hair i will put the link or actually the description in the description box below somebody asked me previously um on my recent video so if you want to have this big fro you know big hair don't care so <laughs> be my guest i'm going to put the description i got it off of amazon for only 25 dollars sis i got a few colors actually i got a brownish blondish brownish like reddish type of um another look that would be another look for another day i'm reserving it for a lookbook i won't say much i won't say much <laughs> just to come out with a different persona a different doris <laughs> so yeah i'm wearing this I'm, I'm just wearing my zara ballet flats to stay a bit casual you know chic casual preppy and uh, just a few rings that i love to wear 
um, that is Zara Ring. I got for three dollars on sale last year, and yeah, that's it. Um, let me know if you need to know anything else. And oh, yeah, those earrings, yeah, I got them off of Shein, so they have like a cowrie shell. I think, yeah, right here. And I think they really look African and ethnic and tribal. I'm all for it. And I love me some good hoop earrings. I just love them. <laughs> so this is what I'm wearing. So yeah, I'm giving you, you know, earthy tone right now, earthy vibes, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's move on now to the styling section. Section? Styling session. <laughs> I mean, it could be a section. I actually thrifted this skirt, it's a mini skirt, um, last month and I did not include it in my thrift haul because it was a standalone piece. I thrifted it separately from my other, you know, thrift haul, but I could not resist. When I saw this skirt, I was like, ah! I mean, there are just so many dimensions to this skirt. So many. First of all, the color. I mean, the color just got to me. I was like, what is that? Let me just take a peek, you know? And I love it. Look at the shape. I love how structured it is. And also, it's a full wrap skirt, which is brilliant. I just love it so much. And of course, the stripes. Look at, look at that color blocking between the orange and the black. Oh, I mean, the shape. It's, it's so well made and it's not too, too short neither. And I just loved it. I was like, you know what? I can layer this. So I got it for, I can show you the price, $7.99. What's yellow tag? I mean, look at this color, sis. Oh, and this is size 12. Yeah, size 12 Worthington, which is a Jesse Penny brand. So Jesse Penny, um, I use. Oh my gosh, back in the day before I discovered thrifting, I was crazy about Jesse Penny. And then it became Ross, which I thought it was such a bargain when I'll only buy four things and then it will add up to $100 at the checkout. I'm like, what happened? What did I buy? <laughs> Thank God I found the three stores. But yeah, so I really, really love this skirt. I think it's just, you know me and layering. I think layering is what adds that elements of you know elevation to your style you want to elevate your look you want to add interesting details i'm always about looking at you know when i look at a piece how can i transform it um i actually want the designer or whoever created this skirt to be like is that one of my skirts hold on is that one of my skirts yes it is <laughs> i'm just wearing it in a very unexpected way but yes it is so you see always trying to transform pieces adding some interesting details wearing it with different styles and textures and colors when i saw this skirt i was like yes i'm going to use it for this video and the thing is about you know being on a modest journey um i think this video is going to serve anyone maybe you you wear a mini skirt but maybe you're trying to find ways to also elevate your style and kind of add more variety you know in the way that you wear your mini skirt so this video can help you as well and so for those of us who are into our mother's journey um we don't want to be left out of the cute stuff neither <laughs> we can still use this and modest it up right so this is also why I make this video. So this video caters to everyone. Either you wear a mini skirt on it by itself or you are, you know, you're trying to cover up and you want to wear a mini a mini skirt and you are curious to know how can you use a mini skirt with your wardrobe. So yeah. And about modesty, I mean, I'll make a video later about that. It's a, modesty is relative, honestly. Um we're not here to judge anybody. Do you sis? Some people may not even think I'm modest, you know. For some, being modest is not wearing any jewelry at all. No makeup, no, not showing your ankles, not leaving your hair out, you know, wearing a scarf all day, or, you know, wearing a scarf or a head wrap at all times, covering your hair. While others, being modest is wearing something that is knee length, you know, at least. So there's just so many different standards, sis. For me, I just ask the Lord, Lord, show me what you want me to wear to give you praise and glory. That's what I do. <laughs> so it's relative. 
let's move on to the first look now with this mini skirt okay sis so you know i love bold colors and this is what actually i have loved this season because colors are everywhere designers are not shy about that anymore and even people who are kind of like shy and love neutral tones and monochromatic kind of like beigey white stuff are kind of like you know dipping their, their toe into the water to see um what is all this color is about because it's so trendy as for me and my house we love colors <laughs> oh my gosh okay i'm so excited to be talking today you know <laughs> it's been a long day um as soon as i turn the lights on i get into my styling bubble in my own universe i'm like the happiest <laughs> and i hope you enjoy this chatter so i decided why don't i use a pair of jogging pants with this skirt i mean come on i just love the vibrant orange bright orange and red the combination of it and uh if you remember i actually made a lot of styles like that i'm gonna send a few pictures with orange and red i love white colors like i said and so i think this is so what's your word unusual <laughs> This is so unusual, but sis, this is literally how people make up, you know, fashion, how they create, and they walk down the runway, and we are like, oh, yes, this is how designers think, <laughs> how to come up with something different, right? So, I think it is so cool, because this skirt is not just a regular mini skirt it's a full wrap so i just love how as you walk as well it's going to open up here and i wanted to play on also the stripes you know that band over here and the side um white stripe down uh, all the way on the side and this is actually from zara i bought it last year over the sale i believe for like 15 dollars at the end of the sale um yeah so i just really really love this combination i mean we only live once you got to try you got to be bold with colors if you're shying away from colors you can start with just one red t-shirt you know one red shirt one yellow piece of accessory um a yellow bag um a piece of jewelry you know just try but i think as you get more comfortable you get bolder and trust me you will get compliments and even if you don't see you are getting dressed for yourself first you say i am beautiful i am fabulous i am i am all that i need to be you know we need to affirm that about ourselves and so i was thinking you know what i also want to add i didn't want to go with a black top I wanted to play on the white stripe here that bend guess what i'm adding yeah so it's really like a hot patch of different styles with this look and this is what makes it so much more fun because this is actually a zara um blouse um sleeveless blouse i purchased maybe two years ago i just love the ruching and the draping and this gives you more like more corporate vibe more like suit you know like under like a blazer for example like if you see oh let me see yeah something like this and i have like a burgundy color as well of the same i just loved it when they came out and i was thinking you know what hmm let me play on with that white over here instead of just wearing a regular t-shirt and i love everything about it and because you know how much i love to layer my pieces so much i love cardigans and kimonos and blazers and i decided to add this piece right here sis this tunic kaftan kimono whatever it is this vintage thrifted piece is everything and you should have seen it already um on this channel i love it i love the color and even the fabric it looks like that the wrinkles kind of like i think they're called the crinkled look fabric and look at this embroidery this orange is popping so i thought it was going to be a really nice um match you know kind of like to tie 
oval species together because there's just so many different elements and layers to this look it's really going to come and tie everything together so i'm going to wear this on top and now for shoes i am going to be wearing something casual still but still look chic and elegant so this is a pair of leather zara ballet flat i bought last year um, if you've seen my thrift haul last year, you will remember those. And sis, those are so elegant and so just, when I wear this, I mean, you, you just, I walk and I keep looking at my feet like it's so cute, you know, like so popping. And uh, yeah, I really wanted to tie the whole thing together and I think it came out perfectly. And so I did not want to wear any jewelry because I just love that the simpleness of this top. I love the ruching and I mean it would be too much too busy you know anyways with that draping over here so no jewelry um just my regular rings and statement rings I think that's what I did and so I am wearing also this red bag which I thrifted this bag is everything it's actually leather i think it's vintage i love it so much and it says made in china but it's so sturdy oh i love 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 this bag let me see maybe somebody forgot some money inside i haven't looked inside yet you never know i've actually had i think i've had two dollars in one of you know a blazer or something back in the day it was funny so yeah i love this bag it's so versatile and bags like this if you want to wear them as a clutch you can by tacking the strap inside so that's another tip you can also wear this as a clutch i didn't do it neatly but you get the gist so if everything is tacked in sis you get a clutch so you see one bag and so far two different uses for it so yeah there's a way to really tuck it inside and then you look at that you give a whole new vibe to this bag <laughs> you know when i'm posing that means i am feeling myself <laughs> so yeah and but what i decided to do for this look is to wear it as a messenger bag across my chest and i love this look as well it adds a more like um i'll say cool relaxed casual look and i think the whole thing came really good together so for sunglasses sis you know me more is more around here like i always say i love being extra and this adds that spice that whoa who is that going <laughs> I love his glasses. I think they're futuristic. They're just edgy. They're out there. And I purchased them from Shein. Wow. Look at this. I mean, seriously. You create such a mystique about you. I mean, you look mysterious. You look out of touch. Like, you come from a different universe. I mean, can, can somebody tell you? Can somebody even... I mean, they don't even know what you're looking at. Is she looking at me? Is she looking over there? You keep on guessing. Keep on guessing. <laughs> so I really, really love those glasses. They're really good. I was kind of like wary about, hmm, you know, to see them in person whenever they, I'll get it when my order will be here. But I am satisfied with them. And let me know if you want the link for this. Hopefully they're still in stock. I purchased it probably a month and a half ago. And it was fairly cheap. Like maybe $15 or even less, I don't know. But I love fashion glasses. I think they add such a statement and uh, spicing up your outfits. And you know, why do we always have to wear those boring black sunglasses, sis? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> so this is the first style and I hope that you enjoy it. Let me know how you like it.
Okay, sis, now on to the second look. For the second look, I love me some Ankara. I mean, yes, I am African, but you know, I just love my culture and the wax and Ankara fabric. And uh, you should have seen one of those in my previous vlog to Tempa when I went thrifting and I went to Zara and I said a picture. So this is a different one. Um, yeah, the fabrics look alike, but this is different. But first of all, let's build the outfit from the bottom up. I wanted, of course it's a given, I'm going to wear the mini skirt. So this is a piece of resistance, you know. Um, oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I decided to wear a skirt. And I was thinking, I mean, this calls for something black, right? And what else that would look so flowy? I didn't want to wear something rigid, like a rigid skirt underneath it because it was going to bunch up and I mean that it won't work. You need something fluid. This is a satin skirt. Um, I thrifted. Casual Corner is a brand size 16 and it was a bit um, big so I kind of took it in a little bit here and there you go. So I love how long it is. I'll say, is it a midi? No, actually, it almost gets to my ankle. So I'll say it's a long, um, a long skirt. And I just loved how soft it feels. And I was thinking, huh, let me wear this underneath the mini skirt. I mean, look at the orange and the black. And then the, um, the black satin skirt is going, you know, it's going to come out of the mini um, skirt. I think it looks so elegant and feminine at the same time. So you can wear two skirts at once. Yeah, so <laughs> that's a point I wanted to make. And it's also all about the movements and the draping and you know what you wear and what you mix and match things with. So fabrics, materials play a great part into how to layer pieces successfully and look your best and feel your best. I decided to wear that and then I was thinking, I actually thrifted this actually was it two weeks ago yes i've seen this shirt right here this is i think it's a t-shirt yeah i saw this t-shirt right here at goodwill my local goodwill and for like three months i kid you not and every time i'm like oh it is so good but eh, it's so good but and then last two weeks ago it was 50% off because of a tag. So I think I bought it for maybe $2. I think it was $4. And then I became $2. I was like, you are coming home with me. Thank you very much. I've looked at you too much over here. Why I loved it is that I'm very particular with t-shirts. I'm, you know, bougie, snobby, but <laughs> I'm a t-shirt snob. Um, it has to be to look a certain way because I'm not really a casual dresser. So it has to look a certain way and feel a certain you know way as well. And this is size L velvet legging T. This is a brand, velvet legging T. And I love the length, it's airy. I love the V-neck and look at that velour. Oh, this is the material also that drew me to it, you see? So I was thinking, yes, this is a black satin skirt, but adding another texture remember when i talk about texture you can still wear a monochromatic look and still have different details because of the textures that you are mixing and i decided to wear this and tuck in the shirt um yeah under both skirts and then of course i need something to tie the whole thing together as usual <laughs> and i decided to use my ankara um, kimono from grass fields. I got this the same place I got the other one with the red, the long red skirt. Grass fields, uh, they're back in business now. Um, their company is based in the UK and so they actually sew everything um, in Cameroon, in Africa. The owners are two Cameroonian um, sisters and they had actually shut down last month because one of them um, has been undergoing cancer treatment and I didn't know if you know she'll make it through. So they shut down last month, but thankfully I think she came back around and they 
they're reopened and they're restocking now so if you are interested i can put the link in the description box as well but let me get closer so you can see the brand they're on instagram as well grass field this is size 16 and let me tell you i love this kimono so much um this one is much longer um the sleeves are much longer and wider i mean this really gives you kimono vibe the other one is more of a kaftan i think and a bit more casual in my uh, in my opinion i love this one. Oh yes and it's got pockets and they actually they, they have affordable prices and if you catch yourself sis you can definitely load up on those pieces and i was thinking yes this will be great you know it's just there's just that grand element to it you know you look i don't know you tell me how you like it because this is my vibe i don't know how to explain it sometimes i like it i like it <laughs> and so of course in the spirit of being more extra than we are already what shoes did you think i was going to pick some cutesy shoes no i am no what am i adding my ego official platform boots i showed you i believe last month i got several colors of it i got the pink the green and the black and i have other mules as well platforms from ego i mean they had great sales and i got this for like what 15 dollars or so very very affordable and uh, i really wanted to make a statement i mean you bring on the ankara come on now you know you're going to stand out you bring on the mini the bold orange mini skirt on top of a silky black skirt and then you bring on the bam look at that look at this <laughs> ah, i love it so much so much it's so good and i really love how everything came together I wonder in case you're asking if I have this on um, in stock I don't know you may want to go look they may in case you're asking and as bag I decided to add this thrifted bag let me put this down accessory I love doing videos and styling videos with accessories as well so it gives you some styling ideas you know what bag goes better with what you know as you see it with my different outfits and ensembles you know you can better you know you can have an idea about um, how to utilize the bags that you have and this is a thrifted Betsy love Betsy by Betsy Johnson I thrifted it um, probably at Goodwill years ago and i love it. it says betsy and i think it's cute see you know you can hold it like this you can hold it you know you can do several things with it you can even add like if you have a black strap for example you can add it here and hold you know work like a like a bag like a shoulder bag like a messenger bag it's up to you and one tip as well if you are getting rid of a bag for example sometimes if you are you have bags that have been exposed to maybe some heat and uh, they start to peel away or something you can still and you're getting rid of them sis if you can remove the straps do it because they could come in handy to go with certain things to add you know different colors or elements to other bags in the future so i always remove my straps when they're still in good shape you know if i'm getting rid of a bag because you know you can mix and match them with bags so yeah yeah even with bags i mix and match <laughs> so i love how this look because it was casual you know i can just carry my cell phone my keys my driver's license and i'm good to go you know so i don't have to carry like a huge bag necessarily and i love how you know you can hold it in a casual way kind of like you know just relaxed and just doing your own thing you know minding your own business and so i love love this with the outfit and what did i use as jewelry or anything oh i used this metal um i would say like a choker from Zara last year I think I got it for $10 at the end 
of the um, of a sale and you know it adds a really interesting element to the outfit and it's got like a pliable clasp and so it can fit around your neck let me do this oh hold on okay so okay yes oh look at that i love it i love how bold it is you know big statements um yeah i think that's about it oh sunglasses i am wearing my very clear casual pair of glasses and this is not a sunglasses just a pair of glasses um clear glasses and i love those where did i get those from probably from amazon i think for those um i got them like two years ago i was watching karen bridge chick and she had that i think and i just love the style and i got the black and the tortoise i'm saying tortoise again and the tortoise <laughs> my kid said mom you don't say tortoise you said tortoise i'm like look i was not raised here okay <laughs> I have my own way of pronouncing things. But yeah, I love it, Taurus. I mean, I love that. So this is all for the second look, sis, and let me know how you like it. Okay, sis, if you're still here, that means, come on, we have created a connection. You love what you are seeing. Please make sure that you are subscribing right now. You can pause. I can wait. Go subscribe right now to my channel. Like this video. Share with your network of sisters so we can grow this platform so we can also be looking fabulous and chic as well. And so now, on to the third and the last look. For this one, I really wanted to give you corporate vibe like a bit more serious professional and like femme fatale like i know where i'm going you know <laughs> and of course we have established by now that the skirt is part of a party and i wanted to play with my zara wide leg slack that i got last year not last year last month and says i made a haul um about those pants sis if you are looking for the perfect pair of wide leg pants sis this is the one for you i mean i love wide leg pants let me get closer so you can see the details look at those four pockets here they're not functional it's just for for, for looks look at that seam all the way down adding another dimension oh my gosh perfect perfect oh, look look how wide it looks zara got it right on this one zara hit it out of a ballpark i saw youtubers really giving rave reviews about those pants and i was like you know what let me try those on 
when I bought the first pair, I knew I had to get a backup. I rarely actually get backups of things, but I've noticed now with Zara Sis, this may never come back into the collection. And it's so rare to find a real pair of slacks that is really, really wide like this. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to get a backup pair because this is, and now this goes out of stock so fast um but you know you can keep on checking and checking this is size xl this is i wear size xl for most things at zara and because i like you know being feeling roomy i like a little bit of more flowiness so um this is perfect so i decided to wear this under the skirt because you expect literally um this skirt to go with leggings um penny holes, something, you know, tight and skinny, but under a mini skirt, sis. Sis, I love the look so much. It's unexpected. It's so fabulous. Look, look, look at the movement. I mean, and the colors, of course. And I wanted to go all professional looking, a bit more fierce, but still the mirror, if it makes sense, to be kind of in the middle. I decided to wear a casual black t-shirt underneath it and this is from Walmart like I said I wear my t-shirt as um, usually as under pieces and this is a perfect layering um, t-shirt I got a few of those different colors and you know how they're, they're not too tight but they're not too loose neither and since of course you knew a blazer was going to come to the party as well I love me some blazers, case on point, and I decided to come out with my vintage, yes, 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 oh, double-breasted black blazer um, from Austin Reed, Austin Reed, so this was vintage, I got it at the thrift store, hence the discoloration, but hey, when you're wearing it, nobody sees it, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not too picky because, I mean, the quality, it is heavy. And I believe I got this in the men's section. That's another tip. Go shop at the men's section for your blazers and your t-shirts and your long sleeve blouses and your long sleeve shirts. Sis, you find some gems there. I promise you. And, uh, oh my gosh, this is, you look like a million bucks. And I'm adding this brooch. That I thrifted a long time ago. It's like a black flower. Ah, oh, I mean, whenever I wear this, it gives you like very expensive vibes, almost like also marine vibe, like you know, like a captain. I make it look. You'll see one day. <laughs> so I decided to go. You see, almost like monochromatic with a pop of orange, and I love love this look so good and then for shoes i decided to wear um to stand the corporate vibe professional vibe a pair of loafers and this is actually trendy right now i've noticed that i've had this for like um oh like five years and this is from tahari i've thrifted it of course and i've had it forever they're so comfortable so this is a nice way to still wear some heels yet be comfortable for this look i really like that rounded toe and uh, that block heel was perfect you know um there was allowing the pants not to drag on the floor and to give you know that to give you that nice walk you know because when you're wearing some heels you walk a different way you you walk more elegantly and this is not high heel so it was perfect i can still strap my stuff while being elegant and comfortable no pain and i love it so much the um, the bag for this look like i said i wanted to go really all dynasty on this one so i am wearing my thrifted um clutch and you should have seen it on this channel i love how satiny the material looks oh. And this was only like what four dollars sis this is gorgeous looks like a stone here gorgeous i think it adds more of a polished look um to the outfits 
and for sunglasses i am wearing my cat eye sunglasses i forgot where i got this from again but sis this one you mean all business you mean business like you are fierce you are bold you are fearless and you're stepping into your destiny you're just doing your thing i think this is ah oh, this is fabulous it's fabulous oh look at that so this is what i'm wearing with this ensemble with the bag i love this look if i was to pick oh i'm not done for i wanted to add something drapey you know because the t-shirt was just there i decided to add this necklace i love it draping oh it's so beautiful i forgot where i got this from but i think it added a nice um touch of golden because i was trying you see what i mean the bottoms here are golden and also here so i wanted to add a touch of gold jewelry you know to be more professional and corporate and um yes i believe that's it for this look um yeah that's it for this look let me know how you enjoy this look This is, this is the end of the video and I hope that you have gleaned some tips and tricks on how you can spice up and elevate your mini skirt with a whole bunch of different pieces of clothing to bring in another dimension, elevate your style and just be fabulous and more versatile with your own style. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite style of all three. Just play with your clothes, you know, just enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you so much sis for staying with me and I really hope that you have subscribed to my channel and come back for some more fab chic fashion um, contents and I will see you soon. As always, stay blessed. Bye.